never realize there's a wolf around until it's too late. And they do exactly what the wolf expects them to do. They run into each other, they fall down, they become dinner. Time to eat. They've got no idea I use my phone to hack the OS on that printer over there. And why would they? Not one printer in this place has built-in malware protection. Now, while they're all busy watching a little something I threw up on the control panel... Just look at your screen. I can intercept all their print jobs until I find the info I'm looking for. Yeah, you're looking Ooh! Yeah. Today's somebody's birthday. Perfect. The really good stuff is upstairs. The kind of stuff that could destroy any future this grand financial institution could hope to have. Oh! I love a good office party. Everyone looks so happy. Happy birthday. Especially Janice. I thought everybody would forget her birthday. Okay. Not me. Look, Janice. Just got an email. What's that? A gift certificate from your favorite spa to honor the big day? How thoughtful. Now all you gotta do is print it. Oh, come on, Janice. It's legit. You just gotta print it out. Come on. We all know you love a good foot rub. That's it. I have access to every computer on the network. How, you ask? Well, none of the printers here automatically monitor for threats, so that gift certificate I just sent Janice to print was actually hiding my malware in the print stream, bypassing the company's security. Which means now I can use the printer to get around the firewall and, surprise, access all the unencrypted data and route it to myself. Hmm. I know it's a mouthful, but it's actually really simple. Because these guys don't automate their security monitoring, not only can I see every document that gets printed in this place, I can see all the good stuff hiding on their computers, too. Now it's a party. Tomorrow's a big day for this place. Looks like they've got a presentation to their most important client about a confidential private stock offering. Sure hope everybody's getting a good night's sleep. They are gonna need it. It's funny how much stuff people leave in the office, huh? It's like they want me to take their personal information. I'm Mr. Vice President of blah, 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 and my life is ruined. These folks have no idea that when they come to work in the morning, I not only have helped myself to their personal identities, but I've gotten hold of their clients' most sensitive financial information. The ironic thing is these guys probably spent a fortune securing their network and their servers. But because no one bothered to arm any of these PCs with the BIOS defense system, my malware is free to do its thing. Oh! That's what I call a metaphor. Oh yeah, no, there's a lot riding on this meeting. You might even say the future of both companies. I had some huge elaborate plan to worm my way into the video conference, but it turns out I didn't have to. See this dude over my shoulder here? Guy who looks like he's about to wet his pants. Well, he was so nervous, he forgot to pick up the key part of the presentation right off the printer. So now, it's just sitting here, waiting for anybody with an ax to grind to pick it up and share it with someone like me. Because this bad boy doesn't have user authentication, it's easy for print jobs like these to go unclaimed. Bingo. First, I got control of their printers. Then, I got control of their network. Then, I got control of their data. And now, this. All the juicy details of a major acquisition. You can see why they wanted to keep it quiet. 
along with everything else I've stolen from this place, these guys are in for a really bad day. Truth is, I don't really have anything against them. And they seem like perfectly nice people. But that's beside the point. Why am I exposing one of the financial world's most important secrets? Because I can. Who knows? Maybe next time I'll come after yours.